Here are 30 of my favorite tips and tricks that you can do with your Apple Watch Ultra or any Apple Watch really. If you're tired of all the default Apple Watch watch faces, there is actually a third party community driven app that you can download that will basically allow you to download additional watch faces to your Apple Watch. Now the app is called Clockologically. Make fun of me in the comment section, I have a hard time pronouncing that for some reason. But this third party app allows you to download community driven new watch faces to your Apple Watch and works extremely well including your media controls and other data. The only con to this app is it runs the third party app as your watch face, but don't worry, it doesn't drain your battery or anything like that. And it's pretty cool. If you want to find out more how to set it up, do a whole dedicated video right over there, which I strongly suggest watching after this video, of course. Number two is Control Center. In here, there actually is a resized text function, which a lot of people miss. When you tap edit, you can edit and add it to your Control Center. And now with this feature enabled, you can actually change the text size on your Apple Watch whenever you need to. And this also includes some third party apps as well. Now the hand watching timer is a useful feature, especially since the pandemic, by going to the settings, scrolling down to the hand washing section, here's what actually enabled this 30 second timer. That starts automatically whenever the Apple Watch detects that you're washing your hands. And it'll actually help to feedback your wrist Letting, the, letting you know that you are done with this amazing animation. Number four, if you have a favorite watch face, you can always download this third party app called Time Glance, which actually combines time and date into one single complication. This is especially useful whenever you're using unique watch faces like this, where you actually want to tell the exact time, but the font is just too large. This basically will resolve this issue, making you always be able to tell time no matter the angle. Number five, if you have an Apple TV or a supported smart TV, you can always control it with the remote app on your Apple Watch. It's a cool feature that allows you to basically control your television right here on a convenience all off your wrist. And it works extremely well. You can also find the remote tab right in the media section where the Apple TV will detect that you have an Apple Watch on where you can actually remotely control it this way as well. Number six, if you frequently do PowerPoint style presentations on your laptop, switching to the Apple Keynotes allows you to actually control each slide right here on your Apple Watch. Not a lot of people know about this one. Number seven, need to do research on the web but you don't have your phone? Fear not. You can actually use WebKit to request Siri to open up a website, even to have access to your social media accounts on your wrist this way as well. You can use login key save, save passwords, right on your Apple Watch and log into your accounts just fine. And you can also use your iPhone as a keyboard if you really need to. Number eight, always losing track of time. Enable Shimes on your Apple Watch. This will actually tap you on your wrist whenever an hour comes by. To enable this feature, you simply have to go back in your Apple Watch settings, go into the clock section, and enable Shimes and you're all set. You're good to go. Number nine, in the clock setting, you can actually adjust the time on your Apple Watch without affecting the time on your iPhone, simply adding the desired time amount. This way, you're always ahead of time in your appointment and stuff like that, and you're never late. Number 10, if you frequently use Apple Pay, you can actually long press on the card. You can actually change the default card like this quickly. Number 11, when using the workout app, you can actually bypass the three second timer by simply just tapping on it and it will start immediately. And then for number 12, also revolves around the fitness tracking. By double tapping, this will actually create segments during your workouts. Number 13, if you enjoy watching YouTube videos on your wrist, then an app that actually surprisingly works extremely well is called WatchTube. This app basically allows you to not just watch your YouTube videos on your wrist, but actually loads respectfully quick but also plays sound and it's pretty loud, especially on the Apple Watch Ultra. Number 14, if you own a Tesla, you can actually download this third party app called Watch for Tesla. This app basically allows your Apple Watch to be the car keys to your car. It's a one time purchase, one more time, but it's totally worth it for this exact reason because it's much cheaper than buying those cards or the uh, Tesla the weird key fob thing. Number 15, when docking your Apple Watch, by tapping on the little lightning bolt icon, this will show you the exact battery percentage of your Apple Watch. Number 16, you can actually monitor your Apple Watch battery from your iPhone while it's charging by using the battery widget on your lock screen or your home page. 
Number 17, many people forget about this, but you can actually store your music, playlists and stuff in the built-in 32 gigabytes on your Apple Watch. Just open up the main Apple Watch app and select the playlist in the music section and just let it download and you're set. Number 18, if you use the loop band, you can actually wrap your Apple Watch around like this, keeping your screen safe when storing it or putting it in your pocket. Number 19, theater mode is extremely useful. There's a feature here when theater mode is enabled where you can actually quickly check the time of your watch without disturbing others around as you can utilize the digital crown to take a quick peek and then just scroll down to dim down the screen one more time. Number 20, another overlooked feature is the cover to mute functionality. If you forget to put your app watch in silent by simply covering the screen and holding it for a couple of seconds will activate silent mode on your watch. Number 21, if your watch screen isn't responding and you can't control it whatsoever, your iPhone can actually control your Apple Watch. If you simply go into your iPhone settings, go into accessibility and enabled mirror Apple Watch, now you have full total control of your Apple Watch right here. So if your screen is destroyed or something like that happens, you're not left stranded, you can actually control it all right here on your Apple Watch. You can actually use this as a presentation if you like as well. Number 22, if an Apple Watch isn't working properly, you can actually force close it by launching the app then holding down the power button of the Apple Watch, then long press on the digital crown. This will actually close and just go ahead and relaunch the app and it will reboot itself and hopefully resolve any bugs and issues it was facing. Number 23, just like the focus mode on our iPhone, you can actually assign each watch face to a different focus mode. Super easy and straightforward. Number 24, the camera app on your Apple Watch actually works as a viewfinder for your camera on your iPhone. So this way you can actually utilize the best cameras on your iPhone like the rear camera. And this is perfect whenever you're trying to take a group selfie. And then as an added bonus, if you have the loop band, you can actually technically tighten it and secure it on your iPhone this way when it comes to taking selfie photos with a large group. Number 25. To add additional privacy on your Apple Watch, you can actually hide notification messages by going into your watch settings, tapping on notification, and enable tap to show notifications. Now whenever you receive a notification, you can simply just tap on it to reveal it, the message preventing others from seeing it. Number 26, long pressing on the Wi-Fi icon in the control center will securely allow you to connect to a new or different Wi-Fi network without going into the app watch settings manually. Number 27, you can actually do the same exact thing with the airdrop slash airplay icon. You can actually select earbuds you wanna to connect to, or you could go on the very bottom and connect to a new Bluetooth wireless device like speakers, headphones, and etc. all off the Apple Watch. And yes, you can actually connect a keyboard onto this Apple Watch if you want to. Not sure why, but you totally can. Number 28, if you need to check the time strictly without looking at the watch by long holding on the digital display with two fingers, the Apple Watch will actually give you a haptic feedback that will actually tell you the time based off of the vibrations. To enable this, simply just go in your Apple Watch settings, go on clock, tap on Taptic Time, and enable this, and there you go. Number 29, to perform a heart reset on the Apple Watch, just simply just hold the digital crown and the power button at the same time. It'll put the device into a hard reset. Number 30, even when you turn off your Apple Watch, if you actually tap the little side buttons right here, it will still display the time regardless. And then these last ones are small bonuses. If you launch Control Center and you tap on the phone icon, you know, it will actually pin and play the sound on your iPhone to actually locate it faster. But if you long press, this will actually toggle sound. In addition to that, if you use the Find My app on your iPhone, you can actually use this to locate your Apple Watch by not just only playing sound, but it'll actually play the LED light that it has for the heart rate sensor back here, so you can actually locate it faster as well. And then lastly, whenever you pick up a call on your Apple Watch, you don't always have to pick it up if you're away from your iPhone. You can actually tap these little dots right here. You can actually select pick up on iPhone, and then that caller will automatically be set to hold so you don't miss that call. And when you're ready to grab your iPhone, you can then answer the phone call like so. 
And there you guys have it. Now you know how to use your Apple Watch Ultra as full potential. Thanks so much for watching. If you wish to watch more, check out this video over here where I highlight more additional awesome apps for your Apple Watch. Other than that, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.